What could be more satisfying than building a perfect base? Whether it's your command center, colony of survivors, or evil lair. Hello, my name is GamerZack, and I've been making these kind of list videos for a decade now. And welcome to my 30 upcoming PC base building games in 2023 and 2024 list that I make just for you. Every year we get an endless wave of new games. Most constructions crumble under the pressure. But the bigger the rough, the bigger the diamonds. So these days we undoubtedly get a few gems every year. Which of these 30 games will turn out good? No one ever guesses right. Statistically, only one to three games will succeed. So if you fancy yourself a master planner, write down your prediction in a comment and come back in the future to see if you got it right. All right, now let's get started. Beginning the base building, it's Norland by Long Jaunt. Norland is a medieval kingdom sim that generates stories, they say. Manage your noble family and face issues with class society, crime, slave revolts, religious conflict, economic issues, personal relations, treachery, secret murders, and spectacular battles. Assigning tasks, watching family members develop complex relationships, punish criminals, and take care of citizens. Along with building armies and defenses, making important decisions, absorbing knowledge, setting up production chains, and it says you'll have a different experience every time you play. There's, there's a lot to this game. Visually, it does have a simpler approach, and clearly inspired by games like RimWorld, so if you're looking for a medieval kind of RimWorld, then this might be for you. It's planning to release sometime in March 2023, so not too long from now. In a similar theme, we have Clan Folk by MinMax Games. Clan Folk is a medieval colony sim set in the Scottish Highlands. Harness your environment to survive. Fish, gather, hunt, and farm as you prepare for the harsh winter. Build an inn, trade with other clans, have children and marry them off. Live life and prosper across the generations. Another game that kind of looks inspired by RimWorld, so there's going to be some competition between this and Norland. You tell me which you prefer. This has been in early access through 2022 with very positive reviews, so it's going well so far. Rough release window is supposed to be around early 2023, but it could, of course, take longer. So we'll see how it develops over the next year. Being more Norse, it's Sons of Valhalla by Pixel Chest. Sons of Valhalla is a strategy and base building game set in the Viking Age. Build fortresses and lay siege to enemy strongholds, gather warriors and board longboats, and engage in personal combat as you raid and conquer across England. Sons of Valhalla challenges you to play both the role of builder and destroyer in your quest across England. You will develop and fortify settlements while raiding villages and laying siege to enemy strongholds. Side-scrolling with impressive pixel art, this looks great if you like the style, but maybe it has a bit too much action for you if you're looking for base builders. Either way, it's looking at 2023 for some kind of release, so we'll see more of Sons of Valhalla then. For a game that I've been watching for a long time, it's TFM The First Men by Gathering Tree. A strategy simulation based on stories of the first men. Infinite possibilities await your very own Adam and Eve as they embark on a generation-spanning adventure. This is a game that I had a little look at way, way long ago, back when it was in a pre-alpha state, and it was basically a whole other game. Since then, The First Men has been developing into a much more solid idea, and it's looking like a fully-fledged game. It's still releasing into early access, so more work is due, but I'm pretty interested to see where The First Men is going to go from where it is right now, particularly how all the generational and genetic stuff has developed. It's been in early access since the end of 2022 with mixed reviews, so we'll see if the feedback they're getting turns this into a gem over the next year. Okay, now that we're a bit into the video, I'm sure you're enjoying it so far. I've spent a lot of time on this, so if you do appreciate what you see here, please do press the like button. It's free and it helps a lot. I'd also love to know which game on the list is your favorite, so comment down below. It helps me look for more games that you will want to see. All right, next game. Mythos Build and Survive by Madnetic Games. 
Also known as Mythos Slavic Builder, this is a combination of classic real-time strategy and it's based on Slavic mythology. Grow your settlement, build up the economy, army up, and explore maps guarded by mythical creatures and other clans. This is one that has a lot of promise, but we've been watching it for a while and it's still not here. Some gameplay was shown off in the middle of 2022, but generally I wouldn't hold my breath for this one. And it could be a nice surprise if it does actually release. If the new trailer is actually real gameplay, and not just a pre-rendered animation anyway. It's an interesting idea, but currently it's just to be announced when it could possibly release. And then we've got Becastled by Mana Potion Studios. Becastled is about building and defending your castle from sieges in a fantasy world. Build your castle, manage resources, train an army, survive a siege, and explore ancient conflicts between light and dark. Simple enough conceptually, this one, as it's all about building up your castle and surrounding resource production chains to be the best they can be while not dying to invaders. It kind of reminds me of Diplomacy is not an option, but with a slightly different take. This has been in early access since early 2021, so it's been a while, but it does have very positive reviews. Up to two years to release is the plan, so a 2023 release is the current expectation. For more colony sim management, we have Going Medieval by Foxy Voxel. Stake your claim in this colony building sim and survive a turbulent medieval age. Construct a multi-story fortress in a land reclaimed by wilderness. Defend against raids and keep your villagers happy as their lives are shaped by the world around them. Having played some of this in early access, it does kind of feel like a 3D rim world with height levels set in a medieval world. The height is a big point, from basic things like building a balcony so your arches are better, to digging deep mines to extract resources. It definitely adds layers to the gameplay. Meaning to be in early access for at least a year, it's most likely going to take longer, and that's not such a bad thing for good games. With very positive reviews on Steam as is, more content and refinement for going medieval is a welcome addition. Settling elsewhere, it's Circle of Kurzovan by Kurzovan. Circle of Kurzovan is a charming settlement building strategy game paired with a rich simulation experience. Every animal and plant tries to find their place in nature while you lead your villagers to their future. Expand to different regions and trade with local factions to gain the needed resources. Build your economy, care for living things, find balance with nature, or throw it out the window. Experience a simulated natural world and enjoy a relaxing, low-poly experience. It seems nice, but also I'm not sure how it's going to be as a game. But all the nature simulation is kind of the selling point here. Early access release is currently TBA, so to be announced, so we don't know when this will be playable and it might take a few years to finish. It looks cool, but if you jump into this, then you might be in for a long haul to full release. For something a little bit different, it's Bulwark, Falconeer Chronicles by Thomas Sala. A new building game set in the oceanic world of the Great Ursi. Design, develop, and defend your bulwark. Manage resources and make choices to create unique fortress settlements in a world reeling from a cataclysmic war. The core gameplay is squarely focused on wildly building across the rocky cliffs and the crags of the world. Light resource management, combat, and story elements bring your creation to life while giving a voice to its inhabitants and allowing you to expand with exotic new building options. That is the promise of this game. This is a building puzzle design kind of game with a lot of room for creativity, which is nice. And it sets itself apart from everything else on this list. But there's no current release window set, so we're not too sure how long until we can get our hands on this one. And then for one that's been in sight for a while, Dark Moon by SA. Dark Moon is a survival strategy game where in order to survive you must avoid the sun's scorching rays and embrace the darkness. Gather resources, upgrade your mobile base, make tough moral decisions, but most importantly, don't go into the light. 
The sun is your enemy here, and the game promises non-linear survival as you manage your mobile base, do the right thing, and develop crew relationships. This looks like something different for the genre, but also I remember this being revealed quite a while ago, and I'm not entirely convinced the gameplay trailers shown off are a real game yet. It might be one to keep an eye on, but for now, release is just set to coming soon, if it does actually release at any point. Traveling further out into the stars with these next few games, starting with Starmancer by Ominux Games. Obey protocol or go rogue as you take on the role of a powerful AI in Starmancer. Build bustling spaceports, secret laboratories, and incubators for mysterious eggs. Defend against starvation, sabotage, and space zombies. Don't worry, you can always grow more humans if they die. Pixel art space base management. It looks great with a lot of features, but there is a lot of competition for games like this right now, as you'll see with the next few games. This one has been in early access since the end of 2021, with mixed reviews, so it's not doing the best so far, and they're already past their estimated original release window. Maybe things will pick up moving forward. Staying in space, we've got Space Haven by Bugbite. Embark on a space voyage with your ragtag crew of civilians in search of a new home. Build spaceships tile by tile, create optimal gas conditions, manage the needs and moods of their crew, encounter other spacefaring groups, and explore the universe in the spaceship colony simulation. There's a lot to this game, from the design and building, to simulated gas systems, deep characterization of characters, ship-to-ship -ship combat, hostile aliens, and more. This has been in early access since 2020, so it's been a while now and well past their original predicted early access time. But it does have very positive reviews, so it's going great. But I'll probably not list this again moving forward, as it's going into perpetual early access territory. For a more recent space-based contender, it's Nebula by Chaos Systematic. A new starship colony sim with RPG adventures in a galaxy with millions of explorable planets. Build your starship and guide your colony through the mysteries of space. Travel the galaxy and explore millions of star systems and planets featuring diverse factions and unique environments. Journey into the cosmos to complete quests, discover rare materials, and ancient secrets with untold riches. Along the way, you'll meet interesting characters, manage your starship, and lead your people to prosperity. One more game, very inspired by RimWorld and other space-based games. It's going to be hard to compete with what's already out there, but maybe the spaceship and space exploration is enough to set this apart. Closed beta is meant to begin in 2023, so it could be a number of years to full release, but this should become at least playable over the next year. Continuing to adventure through the stars, it's Star Deus by Kodo Linija. Star Deus is a deep colony sim set on a broken starship, manned by drones and hibernating human survivors. As the AI, have your drones repair your ship, save your crew, and travel the stars in this beautiful simulation. As you are saving your crew and rebuilding your ship, you automate and organize production, research technologies, explore the universe, and live your very own space odyssey. Lots of stuff to manage and organize in your space base here, but yeah, there's a lot of competition for games like this. Right, another one? And this isn't the last one either. So tell me which is your favorite so far, because I'm having trouble picking the top one out of this section. Having been in early access since the end of 2022, it's received very positive reviews so far, but looking for two plus years to full release. There is a free demo though, so if you're intrigued, feel free to check it out. For one more spaceship one, it's Generation Ship by SciFan Studios. You're the AI responsible for a generation ship, mankind's last hope for survival. Build efficient raw material cycles to help your crew in a realistic, real-time simulation to survive the harshness of space on their long journey to a new home. Realistic environment controls including air pressure and composition, realistic artificial gravity, fully simulated persons who use air, nutrition, and have other needs, 
building and maintaining your generation ship, resource management and processing, and a lot more is being promised here. Visually, it's looking a bit simple, and the trailer is kind of lacking, to be honest. This could have some more compelling gameplay, but I expect production levels to be clearly indie. Looking at some kind of early 2023 release, we should be able to find out if Generation Ship can stand up to all the competition that's already out there and that's on the way. Staying alien, but a bit more grounded, we've got Far World Pioneers by Igloosoft. Welcome, Pioneers, to the forbidden reaches of space. Your mission, build colonies on a strange planet, adapt to extreme elements, grow self-sufficient communities, and safely navigate alien biospheres. You can never go home. But the landscape of countless planets are yours to settle. This used to be a game called Outworlder, but it went through a bit of an evolution. Here you'll be building thriving colonies as you save other survivors and fight for your survival with physics-based gunplay. It's a pixel art game, and if I'm being honest, it's not really my favorite style of pixel art, as it kind of reminds me of some retro Sega Genesis games, actually, that didn't age so well. But you can judge the gameplay for yourself and see if you want to keep an eye on this one. It's coming soon, but into early access, so Far World Pioneers has a long way to go to full release. Alright, enough space stuff, but this time we're still sailing the seas in Haven Dock by YYZ Studios. Build a town in the middle of the ocean. Reach self-sufficiency, invite travelers to join you, manage their needs, and run research facilities to keep them happy. Build a submarine and discover islands to produce increasingly complex resources. Haven Dock is a resource management base building simulation game where you try to survive in the middle of the sea and build a thriving town. This could turn out to be something special, but the gameplay so far only shows so much and the risk is it ends up being a bit disjointed once it's all put together as it looks like a lot of stuff promised and I expect development to maybe take longer than planned as it does sort of have an indie feel to it. There is a free demo though, so you can check it out yourself and it's looking at a quarter one 2023 early access release and 2024 for a full release. So the plan moving forward is, seems pretty clear for Haven Dock. Time to go back in time with The Tribe Must Survive by Walking Tree Games. This is a tribe builder with a generous splash of survival and roguelike elements. Set in a gloomy Lovecraftian Stone Age, the Tribe Must Survive is about finding ways to grow and protect your tribe from what lurks in the shadows around it. And your tribe members have their own personality and AI will, and generally will do what they want. Fortunately, you can manipulate them with rituals, buildings, upgrades, and other decisions to get things done. Whatever it takes, the Tribe Must Survive. This is a more prehistoric take on the genre, and the mix of horror and Stone Age with AI autonomy, is, this is a setting that could pique many people's interest. It's the kind of game I really hope turns out well, but we'll see. Release is to be determined, TBD, and uh, we have no idea when this will release. Staying prehistoric, we have Sapiens by Magic Jungle. Create your own prehistoric civilization and lead your tribe in a world you shape. Start with nothing, build towns and industry, and advance through thousands of years of technological breakthroughs in this intimate yet expansive colony sim. One big note I have for this game is that the screenshots do not do it justice. Once you jump into the game, the simple low poly graphics come to life as the grass waves in the wind and light moves across the sky. There is also a crazy amount of detail when it comes to visual representation of what's being done. Buildings constructed with different materials will actually look like the materials you use to build them. When discovering new knowledge and technologies, there are unique animations and interactions that your villagers will do. And there's terraforming, which when combined with the building possibilities, leave a lot of room for creativity and potential. It's early days for Sapiens, but from what I've seen, those days are bright. It's been in early access since mid-2022 with very positive reviews, and will probably take a couple years to complete. So have a closer look and see if it's something that you want to get into. 
for a step back into some Norse lands, it's Land of the Vikings by Laps Games. This is a colony survival sim game where you lead your village and expand it into a thriving city. A wise Jarl must manage resources, survive harsh conditions, and guide their fellow Vikings to work together through social conflict. Every villager is fully simulated with 20 plus characteristics, skills, and abilities, and they could be suited for specific jobs. Disasters can come to wreak havoc with earthquakes to fire-starting lightning. You'll be trading and raiding your neighbors, celebrating and decorating your village, and unlocking new things on the tech tree of life. Overall, this is great as it looks decent, and there's some interesting gameplay from how all these mechanics work together, leaving plenty of room for not only choices and optimizations, but also some artistic flair. It's not complete yet, though. Entering early access at the end of 2022, garnering very positive reviews, it's at least one year to full release, so sometime in 2023 or later for this to be completed. Next we've got Arklands by John Keller. Create a buzzing village and become a powerful enough wizard to defend it in this RPG-inspired builder game. You're a wizard who got banished from their home because they rivaled the ruling wizard in power. What are you gonna do? That's wizard's rule right there. Banished citizens are sent to the Arklands, a treacherous collection of islands inhabited by monsters which are attracted to everything magic. That's bad news for you and your followers. So the only way to survive is to grow and fortify your village. You will see it grow from a loose collection of rugged tents to a heavily fortified city, attracting other banished refugees and discovering the ancient secrets of the Arklands. Build, defend, explore, and uncover deep mysteries. This is more of an indie project and it raised money on Kickstarter to bring it to life, so hopefully it's raised enough for it to come to full fruition. Current release is just TBA, so we'll just see where Arklands goes in the future. For a unique setting, we have Diluvian Winds by Alambic Studio. This is a management game set in a small hamlet at the foot of a lighthouse. Welcome weary travelers and help each other to try and survive the unpredictable weather. Grow your hamlet on land, under the sea, or among the clouds. Keep the fire lit to guide travelers. Each traveler brings their own benefits, by the way. Cook special recipes to gain bonuses and withstand unpredictable weather. A different kind of game we've got here for sure, but you're still building up your base, managing resources, and handling your colonists. I like the mix-up, but maybe it could end up just a bit weird. There is a free demo though, so if you're intrigued, have a look at that. Full release right now is TBD. For something that's a bit more explosive, Territory Control 2 by T Flippy and Junk Gen. A 2D multiplayer sandbox game revolving around industry, innovation, factions, combat, and emergent gameplay. Design factories, customize tools and weapons, fight or trade with other players, or get viciously murdered by an angry badger. This game basically has two sides, building things up and tearing things down. There's base building, transportation of resources and equipment, mass production. But then there's also heavy duty mining, all kinds of explosives and artillery. There is also multiplayer that's on the table. So overall it looks kind of cool, but the description also sounds like a lot of different things and it could get messy trying to balance these two sides of the same coin, I suppose. Release right now is just set to coming soon, and it plans to spend two years in early access, so it's not gonna be releasing fully anytime soon, but I expect to see more of Territory Control 2 soon. For a more recent announcement, Dawn Apart by Industrial Technology and Witchcraft. This is a space colony and factory sim with a fully destructible environment. Mine resources, maintain a growing settlement of fortune hunters and defend it against the fierce indigenous population. Or flip the script and start a rebellion against the greedy corporation exploiting your new home. Build up your base and automate production lines like in Factorio, along with defending and fighting off your enemies. There is also colony sim gameplay with managing your engineers, mercenaries and civilians who have needs. Basically, this looks like a 3D voxel Rimworld plus Factorio, which sounds like an amazing idea, but we haven't seen much of it yet. 
No release window as of right now, it's just to be announced, meaning we just have to wait and see how this turns out. Speaking of witchcraft, Rekka by Emberstorm Entertainment. Start your life as a witch and travel Central Europe's nature with your cottage. Roam forests and swamps, collect plants, craft magical supplies for villagers, and customize your ever-growing home. You ever wanted to live as a witch? Build your own witch home and furnish it with witch things? Then this is promising to be that game. Construct, craft, and customize in an ever-changing landscape as you discover fantastic locations and help the people and creatures of the land. Rekka is an atmospheric base-building game set in the late 19th century rural Europe. You travel the countryside with your self-built chicken-legged cottage and generally, yeah, basically be a witch. That's the whole point of this. Unfortunately, release right now is TBA, so we have no idea when this will be coming or becoming playable, but it seems like an interesting project and I'd like to see how this turns out. Bringing back some robotics, we've got Roboplant by Rebel Pug. In a future not too far away, humans are finally able to harvest food on alien planets. Embark on a new journey with your team of robots called Bebop 179. Build and manage a hydroponic farm, grow delicious plants, and survive the mysterious challenges of outer space. Build your space base, take care of your factory and robots, and optimize your business. This entered early access at the end of 2022 with few but with positive reviews. It's not got a lot of attention at the moment, but there is a free demo so have a closer look and see if it's something you want to get into. Full release is planned for some time by the end of 2023, but I do expect it to take longer than that. And then we have Stranded Alien Dawn by Himimont Games. Brave a new world in this planet survival sim, placing the fate of a small marooned group in your hands. Forge your story through compelling and immersive strategic gameplay as you make vital decisions to protect your survivors. Discover an expansive living world, manage your survivors' needs, construct and evolve your base, farm crops, research technologies, react to fluctuating weather, and fend off waves of hostile aliens. There's a lot to this, and it's visually nice to look at as well. Plus, modular base building means your home goes from simple shelter to high-tech outpost. This has been in early access since late 2022, and it's received very positive reviews, so it's all going good. Planning for at least six months in early access, as always, expected to take longer, but a 2023 full release is plausible for Stranded Alien Dawn. For kind of a weird one, Space for Sale by Mirage Game Studios. Space for Sale follows the journey of an intergalactic property developer on a mission to build habitats for eccentric alien clients. Now yeah, that's weird. Discover the wonders scattered throughout the new solar system you bought on the cheap. Build estates and sell them for a sweet profit. All right. I'm not too sure how this works, but I guess this fits in the base building genre? You can expect procedurally generated landscapes, gathering of resources, building of estates, taming and researching of flora and fauna, and selling your constructions as a business. You can also build with a friend in up to two player multiplayer. This is another one that I'm not 100% sure counts as a base building game, but it's a unique one and this is the best fit I can think of. Check it out if you're intrigued. Release right now just says coming soon. Going a bit darker, it's Surviving the Abyss by Rocket Flare Studios. Earth 1976, you have been tasked to manage a deep sea research facility working to weaponize genetics. Mine resources, light your way in the dark and explore the ocean floor to further your research. Maintain oxygen, power and food to keep your crew alive. Beware, the darkness hides untold horrors. You are the overseer who leads a team of scientists conducting genetic experiments, but being down here is kind of driving everyone insane. You gotta make tough decisions, expand your base, conquer rough terrain, uncover what lies in the darkness, prevent disasters, and face your fears. Unsettling, but also fascinating, this one. 
This is going into early access in 2023, so what this game is exactly will be illuminated soon. For the final main entry, but there are a few bonus games after this one, so don't tune out just yet. It's Lightyear Frontier by Frame Break and Amplifier Game Invest. Lightyear Frontier is a peaceful open world farming adventure on a planet at the far edge of the galaxy. Start your new home on a distant planet with up to three friends as you farm alien crops, build your own homestead, and explore the untamed wilderness of the world. As you build your new home, you will be piloting and upgrading your mech, and you can relax on this peaceful world with seasons, and just maybe chill out a little bit. There's a lot of stressful games in this list. This seems like a nice and chill sci-fi farming game that could be the refuge you're looking for right now, but we'll have to see how this turns out. Release is set for spring 2023, so we'll be able to see more of Lightyear Frontier and what it's really like over the coming months. Alright, now for a few bonus games, but if you made it this far, you probably enjoyed your time here and it would be greatly appreciated if you could like, subscribe, share this video and ring that bell, as it really does help keep this channel running. Also, you can support more directly by using the GOG or Humble referral links to buy games, or support directly on Patreon to really help push what I do further. All linked down below, along with the Discord community, Twitch live streams, and my Twitter, where I'm active and contactable. Now, I just want to mention a few bonus games. Of course, I'm going to mention Dwarf Fortress. It's Dwarf Fortress. Not exactly a new game, but just in case anyone brings it up, it released in December of 2022 on Steam with graphics and everything. First, Dwarf. This is a different game. You do build a base here, but it's more of a tower defense kind of action game. You might like it. I'm not sure if this counts as a base building game, but it seemed cool. And then I just want to mention, to all encompass the Dynasty games, Sengoku Dynasty. This looks like an Asian-inspired medieval dynasty, but there have been a lot of Dynasty games announced since the explosion of medieval dynasty. Some not so good and some non-existent. So we can keep an eye on this one to see where it goes in 2023, along with any other Dynasty game that crops up. And that's 30 plus upcoming base building games that should be releasing through 2023 and some into 2024, depending on their developments. Which one are you most interested in? Also, here's something I'd like to know. What's the main thing you look for in a base building game? Is it the actual construction, the management of your colonists, resource management, or are these the kind of games that you love to hang out in with friends? Meanwhile, if you'd like to see more upcoming games, this is only one list of many. So drop by the other upcoming games list videos for so much more. They're listed at the top of the screen right now. Check them all out. All right, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And I'll see you in the next video.